Okay, I'm about to get ready um, to go out. So let's do a story time. So this is a story just about a previous date that I've had. Um, in the end, I really want to know if I'm wrong for thinking the way that I think. So let me know. Stay tuned, please. Okay, so I get there a little early and I valet. Um, he's like a minute later than me. And I see that he parks across the street instead of choosing to valet. Um, I don't really question it because, you know, to each their own, whatever. And then we go and have our dinner. We end up ordering um, like three courses, appetizer, entree, dessert. We had wine. I was really impressed by his palate. Um, he didn't just stick to like the the typical things. You know, he was a little adventurous in what he likes to eat. Also, it was a first date too, and he brought me flowers. I really did like that. Um, they were red and white roses. They were pretty, pretty beautiful. So we're getting ready to leave. Um, mind you, we didn't finish all of our food. So we both have leftover food um, and the flowers that he gave me. So we're walking to valet and valet's like, okay, will that be cash or card? And I'm like, card, okay. So the guy literally does not even attempt to take out his card or like reach in his pocket or anything. Mind you, I have flowers in a hand and I have my um, leftover food in the hand too. So not only is he not even attempting to not pay for the valet, he's also like completely unbothered with the fact that my hands are full and I mean, I can't reach into my purse. So literally the valet guy is like, well, somebody got to pay. So he takes my, fl <laughs> he takes my flowers. So I end up um, reaching in my bag and paying for the valet because somebody got to pay for it. Mind you again, while we're having dinner, you know, we're laughing and joking. Everything's going so good, but I'm just so turned off that he didn't even attempt to try to pay for the valet. And I'm really just a little taken back because I don't think I've ever had to pay for my own valet um, coming from a date, like ever. Like that's kind of weird and it kind of turned me off. So I called my friend afterwards uh, when I got in the car and I was on the way home and I was like, just kind of explained everything the way I explained everything now. And I was like, girl, like, am I tripping that I'm upset that he didn't pay for my valet or like what? Because this has never happened before. So, um, I don't know. Yeah, what's good with it? What's good with it? What's good with it? Yeah, I had to double back with another video. You already know what it is, man. But we're going to touch bases on this, you dig? Being a nice guy will get you treated like this. Did not tell you, sucker ass sips, to stop taking these bitches out on dates to eat dinners and shit. Stop. Just go grab a drink. Or grab a tea or coffee or some shit. Look what's going on, fellas. Isn't she exposing the situation because it didn't benefit her? Didn't he take? Didn't he take her? Treat her to three course meals. Three, I don't know. Did she take three courses, dessert and drinks, wine? Just because he simply did not pay the valet after he'd have probably paid four, five hundred on the meal. You got a problem with that? <laughs> I don't see how y'all don't see this shit, man. It's very simple. When you do certain shit right off the bat, without actually getting to know who you fucking with, without actually getting a quarter through what they say, vet route program or however it is, you know, without, without actually uh, doing the bare, you got to do the bare minimum, fellas. Without doing the bare minimum and you come off doing a whole lot, you're not going to be respected. This is what it is. Y'all already know what time. Wrists, elbows, knees, feet, shin, and everything to the back of the neck. Holding it down, locking down, submerging down the game. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Sometimes these videos piping high status. You're going to get it down your phone and tell your ear all ear candy game. Big facts. Video for education purposes only. Fair use only. Go to my about section. You know how to get at me. Everything's there. Everything's there. The links. And, come on now. You dig? Like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Once again, let's talk about it.
treated her to damn near the whole restaurant, from what I'm hearing. You know? And she had a problem because he didn't pay the valet. She says, yo, I was very impressed by the meals. You know, how he had things set up. The platters and the drinks and all that. Thank you, little boy. <laughs> Tapped his head like it's a three-year-old little boy some motherfucker wear, right? Yeah. Why she does this? Why does she do this to him? Because deep down, she knows she didn't deserve none of that. She knows she didn't deserve that little five-star restaurant that all catering and doing this and doing that just to... And didn't even get no ass at that. He didn't get no ass. He didn't... Fellas, why do you all assist on thinking that buying dinners, taking them out to eat, catering to them, Doing the things that they want to do instead of doing the things that you actually want to do is going to get you some pussy. Why do y'all think that? It's not real. It's not going to happen. Not at all. What's going to get you the sex is her wanting to give you the sex. Damn, okay, see, so, so, so if, I ain't, if I don't got to buy dinner, buy the dinner, if I ain't got to take her out, you know, if I ain't got to uh, do all these things, Pay the valet <laughs> to get sex. Then how do I get the sex? Simply being you. Hit it with a text. Hey, look, check this out. Why don't you go meet me at this bar? Um, I don't really want to go to a bar, but uh, I got another suggestion. How about we meet at such 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 such? Nah, baby, look, check this out. If my whole thing is the bar, and if we can't go there, then we might as well just go ahead and cancel it. And then, or you got my number, you just holler at me when you're ready to do these type of things or whatever. Or when you're ready to meet me at that exact location. And you keep pushing. It's just that simple. This is you, motherfuckers. Yo, baby, yo, check this out. Won't you meet me at the bar? Nah, I want to go to um, Ruth Chris, sir. You know, I'm Spinny Honda, all that type of shit. You know, I was okay. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. That sounds like, you know, like that sounds a little more upbeat. You know, I don't want to do a bar. It sounds a little boring. Just having a drink and conversation. That sounds a little boring. You motherfuckers don't even get it. She's telling you that you ain't shit. You boring, and ain't nothing you can do that will fucking amuse her or what speed up the process of her seeing you in a masculine way or seeing you in a way that you want her to see you. That's what she's saying in so many words. I need something that's going to make me like you, like this steak dinner, like this lobster, crab legs, or cal calamaris, and all that other shit. And we need to chase this shit with some uh, peanut colada on ice with shitload of vodka I don't drink, so I don't know how that shit. With the mixer, the chasers, and we, we, that's what we need. We need to chase that shit with that. We need a couple hundred of dollars up out of you, homie, because I, I ain't feeling no $20 ass bar, no $15 drinks, and that's it. I'm not feeling you like that. You're going to have to do more. You're going to have to compensate in so many words. Otherwise, you think this same motherfucking chick that's sitting up here. Never met no guy that ain't took her to buy steak dinners and, and all that other shit. And he didn't get the ass. Let's keep it real. She met a few guys like that. And they bust her throat down. Hell, with, probably without the bar. They probably ain't never been to the bar. And they got it in with her. Hell, just, just to buy, get a bottle of water and meeting up at the park somewhere. Conversating right there. Let's go back to my place real quick, man, so we can grab a drink. Okay. In the middle of the day. Oh, okay. Yeah. Went back and got, man, got tossed the fuck up. Sit by her way. Met you. Ugh. I keep telling him, I ain't, he gave me his, I mean, I gave him, I gave him my, or he gave me his number, I gave him, we have it go, you know. 
I gave him my number. He texted me, asked me what was up. I told him, um, I think about it, I let him know. This motherfucker texted me the fucking next day, girl. Damn, you ain't thought about it yet? You know I'm trying to get at you. Thirsty as a motherfucker. He texted me two more days after that, so I'm like, okay, cool. Look, fuck it, I ain't got nothing to do. You know? I want to uh, I want to fuck with Michael bad, man, but Michael just... He ch he's on some other shit. He's probably out fucking with these other bitches. He's standing me up. He he don't know what he really want to do. Fuck. Let me go ahead and go on this date with this dude. She go out, go on a date. She gonna look her best, look her fine. She see how you own her. She see how you jocking her. She see how you won't let up off of her. She see how you chasing her like a motherfucker. So let me go ahead and look my finest. Let me go ahead and look my best. Let me go ahead and throw some smell good. I'm gonna look my... Look like motherfucking Venus coming up out of the sky, some motherfucker. She gonna look, she wanna, she gonna look very what what young Dolph say, may rest in peace. Very scrumptious. You <laughs> did. She gonna be looking real decent. Because she know what you're looking for. She know that you view her as a bad bitch. She don't look at you as no masculine um alpha dog top of the line. She don't look at you as none of that shit. She know you view her. In a different light. She know you putting her on the pedestal. So she got to keep you down. She got to throw that foot on top of your motherfucking neck. And keep you submerged and smothered with that motherfucking game. You dig? She got that shit. The KC shit on her. You dig? She hold you down. She looking right. Y'all go out. You got to compensate. She ain't feeling you like that. You know? But hell. These drinks. This food. Hey, she's hungry. Have a few drinks on you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Go home a little sloppy, a little tipsy, a little bit, you know, a little woozy. And hopefully Mike hit her up 3 in the morning, 2 in the morning. And she can get that drunk sex off with Mike. All on your dime while you at home jacking off. Or while you at home dancing to some fucking R. Kelly thinking you in love some motherfucking where. Real talk, man. This is what go on with you dudes. Like a motherfucker. And y'all put yourselves through this shit. Y'all give these women the ammo to gun you down. Look what she's doing in the video. I'm talking to my friend. He ain't even pay for valet. I had my food in his hand, my bag in his hand. He can't, he couldn't even be a a, a rainbow community guy, a, a Miss Thing, to hold my bag and my food for me. You know what I'm saying? Why well, at least get my car to swipe and pay for the valet since he ain't going to do it. Or he should have just offered to do it. You give her an inch, she wants a foot. You give her a mile, she wants 10 motherfucking blocks behind that. Does that make sense? Pay for steak dinners. Pay for lobster and all that shit, the drinks. Now you got to pay the valet. And if we go out to the club, you must pay that. You must do this since your night is coming off paying, motherfucker. You going to carry the whole night out doing this. Or are you missing me? Or I'm out of here. That's how she treat me. And that's how these chicks be treating y'all. And y'all don't want them to leave. You don't want to be. You don't want her to go off and leave. And potentially in this possibility that she don't fucking talk to you no more. You don't want that. You want to stay in her covers because you hope and pray that she dropped them panties and that you get some of that ass. So you can become controlling and be that one nightest motherfucker and lock her in a head, lock her to a relationship. Yeah, come on, man. Well, that ain't stupid. You want to do that bad. And you'll do anything to succeed. Even get disrespected. Even get uh, put down. Get treated like shit. And be the motherfucking gum on the sole of that bitch's foot. Her shoe or whatever. Yeah. You would do all that. A lot of you dudes do this shit. To who? To what? Makeup? <laughs> Look, she's in there packing the makeup. Uh, eyeliner, blush, and all that shit. When that shit get wiped off, she's just in your normal... Some of them look like ducks and shit. <laughs> Rabbits, and, uh, squirrels, turtles. They look like little animals, you dig? Uh, when all that shit's wiped off. Let's just keep it real, man. And you catering to this? You be a motherfucking shame of yourself. And all you dudes is listening to me, man. Don't you go out like this. If she ain't willing to meet you for a drink, at the most, at the least, if she ain't willing to come on through or y'all meet up to go somewhere and get what you want to get got, you know, done, bang her motherfucking back out, then you wasting time. You wasting time with her. 
Keep her pushing. She got to show you that she's down to comply or she must fly. She showed him. Either you down to comply, motherfucker, you must fly. And look what happened. He complied. He bought dinners. Yeah, she was pissed because she paid for valet. She went home. He had to make that up. Yeah, yeah, he had to make that up. Let me see. A Birkin bag or something. Some old Versace frames. You know, a nice little Dior dress. And, hey, a matching jury set. A lot of things. I seen you tricks, bro. You'd be surprised, bro. Like these videos, share them, and subscribe, fellas. Y'all already know it's the motherfucking message. Holla. Let me love.